book is a painting called Gentle Soul and it's named after my dad because this was one of his favorite paintings that I did and he's a good guy so it seemed like a fitting title. Um, the first part of the book is about preparing for the creative process. That includes gathering the right materials and it also um, includes nurturing your mind, body, and spirit. So we talk about ways to do that. And the reason is you want to approach the canvas from a really healthy, positive, and energetic place so that you can express your joy and bring forth your creativity. We also go over the design elements found in gardens and bouquets all over the world and how to use these in your own artwork to create captivating pieces and this is also a great tool these design elements um, are great tools to use if you get if you get stuck in a painting and aren't sure what to do next these can help you jumpstart your painting the second part of the book is about creating we're ready to dive in we've done a little preparation now we are going to complete seven paintings from start to finish with step-by-step -step instructions and there's also some fantastic interviews that I think you'll just find fascinating and very inspiring by some of my favorite artists. They're very talented, very experienced artists. They have lots of great advice, lots of wisdom, and they'll really encourage you um, throughout this book to keep going and not give up. Um, at the end of the book is this nifty little cutout that you can actually take out of the book and frame. And it says, in the garden, everyone is an artist without apology or explanation. And this is really the premise of the book. I truly believe that anyone can paint expressive flowers. There's no right or wrong way to paint one. They're forgiving subjects. So um, don't apologize for your creativity. Get past your fear and just go for it. Just paint, paint, and have a great time doing it. I can't wait to see what you create inspired from this. And I hope you'll join me on social media. Please post your paintings, any thoughts you, ha you have. I would love to hear them so that we can create a community to inspire and support each other on our art path. And thank you so much for supporting me. Happy blooming.